Hi, so we will be discussing several things and all of this are questions that you sent me that you wanted me to answer. First, where did the cult allegations against BTS start? What is the cult and what do they teach? Who is the founder and how is the connection established between the cult, HYBE, and BTS? How did it spread? Does the lawsuit have legs? In other words, how big is the chance of HYBE or Big Hit to actually be able to indict these people and the possibility of them being found guilty? Indict means HYBE or Big Hit is actually able to take them to court. Uh, why are they doing this to BTS now? And what is the Break Wings project? And why are ARMY saying that this is very similar to Break Wings project? Okay, let's start. Where did it start? I guess from the hate vault of a woman who is a, actually a known fan of another group. But we're not going to talk about the other group. I believe they don't support the action of this woman. She took different pieces of information and tried connecting them. The connection being that BTS is connected to a cult. She published it in all K-pop. And she is of legal age. So I guess it is okay for them to for that article to be seen by the world and they have been requested all k-pop has been requested to take that down they refuse now that being said don't bother going to that website just follow me on patreon if you want to know what they actually said and that should be the case for all other things that you're curious about but you know it is disrespecting somebody or maligning somebody instead of giving them, them the engagement that they do not deserve but want just ask me okay next question Cult allegations. The cult that they are referring to is called Dan World. They have since rebranded to Body and Mind Yoga, but I will discuss that in a bit. The founder of Dan World is also the founder of Global Cyber University, where six of the seven members of BTS went for college or for their undergraduate. Now, other idols went there and other idols are still there, but they heavily used BTS in their promotion for obvious reasons. Now, Dan World, according to the article, also teaches the worship of Mago, which is a goddess and the creator of the universe. Mago is also central to the practice of, guess what? Shamanism. Mago is also the name of the last song G-Friend released before they disbanded. And the title of the album, I think, is Walpurgis Night, which is a German festivity commemorating the night they tried to get rid of their society of witches by burning them now they said that uh, the walpurgis night actually happens april 30 going into may 1. may 1 they said is the night when g friend disbanded and may 2 is when lesser of him debuted they said this is not a coincidence seraphim the name appears in the old testament and it refers to angels now if you aren't laughing yet this is going to take you they said that the concept of unforgiven is actually a nudge towards witchcraft and witches because it has a lot of fire <laughs> god forbid they discover bts has a single called fire don't tell them just, just keep that between us now and also kazuha has a an image or a scene in the mv where she was holding a an orb glowing orb and they said that that is a depiction of mago now if you are laughing try to calm down because this is the the real kicker okay dan world teaches the worship of mago mago is central to the practice of shamanism and they said that min Jin does not want any connection to that <laughs> just want to be associated to that that's why she requested for the creation of phoning which is a communication system used by new jeans instead of weavers because weavers they said is an education company also connected to dan world yi chi or il chi li or yi song hun is the name of the guy that founded dan world and global cyber university dan world has rebranded to body and mind yoga because he said that this yoga style that he developed allows you to tap into the power of your brain more and because the brain is so powerful you will be able to take control of more things in your life including your health uh, he was first branded or the dan world practice was first branded a cult when a western journalist went to participate in one of their workshops and he said it felt cultish others followed some of them would agree 
some of them didn't. However, as I've said, they have since rebranded to Body and Mind Yoga. He is also an author and a businessman. I cannot comment further because I have never practiced the yoga, never attended any of the workshops, and never read any of his book. So that's that. How did it spread? All K-pop actually pinned the article on top. And they did brand it a rumor. Now, it was actually armies who found out who the writer is. Now, because I don't know how they did it, and I also can't verify it is the girl, then I won't be showing her picture here, even though she is of legal age. Now, she is a foreign worker, studied in Korea, took residency there, and worked for different companies. Now, her current employer is Coco Dive. Coco Dive has since published uh, a letter and announced that as soon as they found out about, about the article, they contacted all K-pop and asked them to take down the article. They also made sure to make it clear that they have nothing to do with the article and what the woman did is actually illegal or not allowed because all K-pop is considered their competitor and she's not supposed to do that. Um, they All K-pop said no, they won't take down the article and they said they're studying what they can do towards the woman. The woman has since set her Twitter on private. She also took out Coco Dive as her current employer in her profile. Now, there are other people who help spread it like Jad Diaz and I think I can say that because he, his profile is still public. So he created a video, posted some stuff, and he is under Sync Global. He is a creator and Sync Global, I think it's like a creator management company or something like that. He, the day after Hybe announced that they were going to hire another law firm, he published an apology saying that this is not something he should have done because he is well connected to another company. And this is, this is not the values that was passed. The, the, this is not consistent with his values. Okay. So there are many other creators that are spreading it. Some are already going private, some are getting suspended, but I think Hybe is starting to reach out to each of them. How strong is the case against these people? Okay, before I answer this question, disclaimer, I am not a lawyer, this is not a legal advice. This is just based on what I know, based on my experience, so consider this an initial research rather than the ultimate guide. They will most likely get sued for defamation. Defamation is when someone's words end up causing harm to someone's reputation or livelihood. There are two types. Either it is libel, which is written, or slander, which is spoken, or both. Now, there are four things that must be present for it to be libelous or slanderous. Publication, identification, harm, and fault. Publication is that it has to be spoken or written. Identification is that we must know who the subject is. In this case, it's very clear because they named them. BTS, Bang Shio, Big Hit, Hype. Harm is the damage to their reputation or livelihood. Now, fault. This is the trickiest part. In order to be at fault in publishing statement, a statement, the person suing must prove that the reporter either did something they shouldn't have done or didn't do something they should not have done now let's take this case for example did the k did the reporter exert reasonable efforts to find out whether the rumors are true or not did they call hi big hit bts dan world now the other thing is did she do something she should not have done now let's take it let's see let's say me the reporter said Fairlane used to copy answers from her classmates when she was in high school during exam. After she said that, I lost all of my subscribers and it turned out this is my only source of income. I can still sue, even if it is true. It is true, I used to copy, not all the time, but I used to copy answers. It caused me harm. And also, how did you know that? It means you invaded my privacy. So you did something you should not have done. Truth is not an excuse. Now, people suing for libel who are public officials or public figures actually have to prove higher level of fault for it to be actually considered a libel. So for, because BTS is a public figure, they need to prove a higher level of fault. Can Hybe sue someone outside of Korea? Yeah. I mean, if you're visiting another country, you can file a police report there. You can sue somebody there. Now, 
it is just easier and stronger if they have legal presence in that country. In the U.S., they do. They have Hive America. Now, I know what you're thinking. The laws of the U.S., that's different from the law of Korea. A lot of their laws are actually patterned after U.S. laws. The main difference usually is in the execution. Tolerance here is higher when it comes to freedom of expression. So what may be considered libelous there may not be considered libelous here. But they might still sue even if they know they're going to lose just to set up a precedent because it's still a lot of damage to get sued. You need the lawyer. Sure, you can get free lawyers. You can get free consultations. But still, there's a lot of time off your hand. It's like the mental distress that's going to cost you. They might do it just to set up a precedent and sort of make people more careful on what they're going to say about artists of hype. All K-pop tagged it a rumor. Is that going to protect them? No. The reporter has to prove she exerted reasonable efforts to find out the truth. Did she call BTS or Big Hit or HYBE or representatives or Dan World or Global Cyber University? Did she do her research? Even if she says it is just an opinion, it's still not going to save her. Statements of pure opinion is not libelous. But simply leading off with a words in my opinion or putting it in the opinion page or saying things like alleged won't protect you the test is whether the expression or the statement is capable of being proven true or false pure opinions by their very nature cannot be proven true or false in this case bts's connection to the cult may be proven true or false i'll give you an example of pure opinion I say, in my opinion, Suga would have been a better basketball player than LeBron James had Suga been 10 inches taller. Nobody can prove or disprove that. So I can say it for as many times as I want, as loud as I want, and nobody can sue me. I also don't think that LeBron James will care or Suga will care. But the point is that nobody can prove it, nobody can disprove it, so that's not libelous. Why are they doing this to BTS and who is the mastermind? Hybe said that it's a viral marketing company. They haven't really stated who is behind the viral marketing company. And um, I have speculations, but all I have is circumstantial evidence. I'm sure it's the same thing for you, so I don't know if it's worth discussing. As to why, I definitely do think that they want to defame BTS. This isn't the first time that this happened and it won't be the last. BTS's records are difficult to top and their impact definitely impossible to top remember Suga all by himself he could have filled up stadiums had he listened to big hit and that's just him imagine what the group can do when they come back in 2025 or 2026 Jimin wrote his own song sang in Korean almost no promotions in the US and top billboard hot 100 <laughs> imagine that Jungkook's songs he's been in the military for five months and his songs are still in the charts <laughs> and there are idols who keeps on releasing english songs idols who's been idols who are collaborating with american artists and they can still come close to what bts has done it's irritating <laughs> so if you can't beat them destroy them i guess that's their strategy the other reason would be hype bts is the key to hype no bts no hype so if they want to destroy hype or or take over hype the strategy is to destroy bts rm is going to have an album jen is going to come back after that j-hope if they can outsell those three they will be able to prove that or at least make a case that hype is not anymore in good hands so they can tear it down do whatever it is that they want to do with it they also want to spoil the comeback of BTS as a group, 2025 or 2026. And if the talk on the streets is true, or at least a sliver of truth in there, it's going to be massive. And once that happens, that's almost impossible to top. Probably that record is going to stay for like decades. So 
they want to destroy it early. They don't even want BTS to get close to that. So the strategy is to break it early. Yeah. What is Breakwing's project and why are Army saying it's very similar? It's a project back in 2016, Wings come back. Many fandoms work together against ARMY and BTS. So they trended things that are damaging to BTS. They also tried to outstream BTS and armies. Of course, they, that didn't work. But later on, there were fandom members of other fandoms who came forward, apologized. They said that they did not support it. But if you see a lot of armies now traumatized, <laughs> with working with other fandoms it's because of that there were a lot of other fandoms who would say like oh we'll help you and then they would just turn their backs on army so that's where the trauma came from um there the sajegi thing i will explain on uh patreon most likely tomorrow there were other questions asked questions about mini jin if you have other questions, send it in. I will shoot that and then publish it tomorrow. I will also want to cover some BTS positive things. <laughs> so it's not always negative. Um, BTS is here to give us hope <laughs> and happiness. So I will do that. I'll alternate the content so that there's a balance. Okay, but thank you so much for sending in the questions. Thank you for trusting my opinion. Thank you for supporting me. If you ended up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification button. 